the iPhone 2020 is starting to look like something pretty incredible. Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name is Jason. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you will come back again sometime soon. You know, there are things you can do to make that happen. And if you've been here before, thank you so much. Uh, please consider becoming a member of the channel. Helps me out a lot. And there are a lot of great perks for everyone. But that's beside the point. In the past couple of days, we have learned things, uh, potentially learned things, I guess, about the iPhone 12, the iPhone 2020 that have me reconsidering whether or not I should recommend to people that they should get the iPhone 11. Now that's not to say that I like the 11 phones any less. They are still really good phones, like surprisingly good phones. The camera by itself is probably reason enough for a lot of people to upgrade and the, the back is nice looking and it's just it's overall a very nice package apple did a great job this year of taking an old design and making it you know somewhat fresh again and giving it some features that will compel people to want to get it uh, and and I, up to this point, was like, yeah, yeah, that, and that totally makes sense. I knew the 2020 iPhone was going to be something different, but I didn't know, well, I, we still don't know. It's still rumors and leaks and, you know, renders based on such and everything like that. But we didn't know what the 2020 iPhone might look like, and it's starting to come together as something that, at least for me, is going to be pretty incredible. First, a couple of days ago, rumors came out that said the uh, the design was going to be more like the iPhone 4. Now, I don't know why they picked the iPhone 4. The iPhone 5S, the SE, were the last phones to actually uh, utilize this design. But that, to me, is special. That, to me, is awesome. The design of those iPhones was, in my mind, one of the best designs of a smartphone anywhere anytime ever. Those phone designs were callbacks to Leica cameras of the past. They were just very gorgeous, very sturdy, very durable. I mean, that design was great. And we saw that design come back in a, to a certain extent in the iPad Pros of 2018. So when I saw the iPad Pro of 2018, I was just like, oh my God, they're, they're going back to the squared off sides and maybe they'll do the same thing for the iPhone. This year didn't happen, of course. We still have we still have this rounded edge design. But now we have these rumors coming out from Ming-Chi Kuo, who is one of the most respected, one of the most reliable Apple leakers out there, saying that they're going back to that design. And I'm looking at some renders and some stuff like that. And it looks like we're going to have something that's both harkens back to that design, but also, you know, and having the glass back. But that'll still give us the wireless charging, et cetera, et cetera. And... That, that alone got me excited about what's going to come for the iPhone 2020. But yesterday, we got even more leaks, more rumors, uh, but we also got a render from Ben Geskin on those rumors. Now, Ben Geskin is, again, another uh, really reliable, really respected Apple leaker. And what's special about this, even though the render that he came up with doesn't reflect the, the sort of squared off sides, what it does reflect or doesn't reflect, <laughs> no notch, no notch. Now, I hear from people in the comments all the time, well, I can, I, 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 yeah, I'm not going to buy an iPhone until there's no notch, etc., etc. The notch has been a bone of contention for a lot of people for a long time. I have not really been uh, hot or cold on it. It's just, it was just there, and I knew that there were design elements that made it necessary for it to be there. Uh, but I guess now, according to this leak and these renders, Apple has figured out a way to shrink all the Face ID stuff down into just what is really like the thin bezel at the top. Now, it's a little bit bigger bezel than you get on, say, Samsung phones or, or other phones like that. But I'll take a little bit thicker bezel and no notch for an all-screen phone with no hole punches or anything else like that. That's what I said about the Note 10 when the Note 10 was released. I was like, you know, just give me a little bit more bezel at the top and stick that thing up there so that we don't ha we have an uninterrupted screen. But that's that's where they went with it. Now the evidence is rolling in that we're getting no notch 
on the iPhone 12 or the iPhone 2020, whatever they're gonna call, whatever they're gonna call it. And we also in this in this news from Ben Geskin, it also looks like in the Pro version, the screen is now gonna go from 6.5 inches to 6.7 inches, which is just huge. So I mean, if we get a phone that is 6.7 inches and it's also as wide, I mean that's that's near tablet size. I think the iPad Mini is like a seven inch screen. Wow. That's going to be incredible. Uh, I am now officially excited about the iPhone 12, even though I think it's ridiculous to be excited about next year's phone when this year's phone has come out. But we were talking about this long before this year's phone came out as well. But if any of this is to be believed, if any of this turns out to be true, then the iPhone 12 is going to check off a lot of the boxes on my wish list of what I wanted an iPhone to look like. Going back to that squared off design and taking away the notch. I mean, there's so much potential. Maybe it'll even be thicker and we won't have to have that camera hump on the back. You know, one can hope, but maybe it'll have USB-C. Maybe it'll, no, it won't have a headphone checker. This is what I wanted to see all along. This is this was what I said an iPhone Pro would be. Uh, this this more rugged, this more professional looking design. And now it looks like in 2020 we're gonna get it. Let me know what you think about this news. Talk to me down in the comments below and and tell me what you want to see out of an iPhone next year. Uh, what you think about these leaks and rumors that have come out? These renders that are showing us no notch. Will this get you to buy an iPhone again? Will you not care? What do you say? Talk to me down in the comments below. Thanks again for being here. If this was your first time, you can like, subscribe, bell notify, all that kind of stuff so that you can come back again. And if you've been here before, think about hitting that join button and becoming a member of the Wizard Squad. Uh, there's a lot of great stuff there and it really does help me out in keeping this channel going. Once again, to recap, my name's Jason. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.